My whole life I've really been interested in the way that our actions and the way that we behave kind of leave this trace in our social norms and vice versa how our social norms kind of subconsciously influence our actions and the way that we behave around other people. And so lately with my work I've been really interested in kind of taking big chunks and big swaths of this social media data and kind of analyzing the way that the language operates and seeing if the way that we use language on social media can tell us anything about the way that we kind of perceive other people or interact with other people or just generally behave in society on a larger scale. Ohio is what is known as a bellwether state, meaning that the results in Ohio um, can be used to kind of indicate the outcome of the presidential election. And so I wanted to do a project that kind of paid attention not necessarily to Ohio voters as this chunk that is to be won over, but as these individual voices who have very, very differing and diverse opinions about what these presidential candidates actually are and what they stand for. I wrote a computer program that used any of the candidates names as search terms on Twitter basically and I just wrote the program so that anytime it hit one of a tweet with any of these candidates names on it it would collect it save it to a text document on a server and then kind of rerun the script um, you know a few seconds later I haven't been saying I've collected every single tweet I've been saying I've collected every tweet that I possibly can um, which I think is a really important distinction to make. The way that this is organized is by frequency, right? And it's by individuals and populations all feeling the same way and agreeing on the same thing, so that kind of gets swayed in one direction or another. I've made a lot of my career in trying to give people voice in public places, in public spheres, and you sort of honored this, the voice of the people by, by turning it into uh, a, a, an artifact worthy of exhibit in a gallery like this. And that also changes everything. It turns political speech into art. These candidates have these messages that they're kind of using design and using this collateral in order to get their voters to kind of broadcast into a large area, right? What if instead of that super curated and highly vetted message, it instead is turned back on them and it reflects what voters are actually saying about them online? You just want to read everything. What are these, the, these ways that people are actually discussing the candidates, what are the feelings that people actually have, and to see them manifest as um, part of the design is so powerful. I mean, it really is very subversive, and it um, completely undermines the efforts of campaigns in a truly kind of delicious and small d democratic way. This is the antidote for your media bubble, this exhibit, right? You want to know what the rest of the state thinks? Come and see this exhibit and you'll, you will be confronted with everything that people believe that is not what you believe, right? It's really actually hard in some ways to find your own sentiments here because everybody else's sentiment is also is magnified. At the end of the day, it does what, it, what has been a pretty consistent theme in my work, which is kind of taking this impenetrable wall of stuff and turning it into something that is legible and something that is easily understood. And most of the people that come in here spend a good deal of time with this exhibit and actually go through and read, like pay it and make sure that they read a lot of stuff on the wall, um, which is great. And I think that that says a lot to what the physicalization of all of this information has actually led to, which is people paying a little bit closer attention to it. I mean, if you're looking back, you know, if four, eight, 16, 40, whatever years from now, you're looking back to try and understand, wait, what was that that happened back in 2016? If you were to look through the sort of bastardized campaign signs and, and campaign collateral, it would give you a pretty good idea of what was going on in the country at that moment. And for um, a single snapshot body of work to do that and to capture like the essence of this like really strange campaign is a, is a pretty monumental work.